Wave Crash is kind of like if you mixed uh, Tetris Attack with a fighting game. And it is exactly as cool as that sounds. So you have multiple different uh, playable characters you can choose from and fight with. I'm kind of going to go through a few of them here. Uh, they each have their own different traits and special attacks, which is pretty cool. Um, so the special attacks are done by spending a certain number of, uh, of tiles on the board. And then your traits are just special things you can do. So, like, for example, um, one character I really enjoy is uh, Ji Yoon, who can uh, teleport around the board, which is kind of tricky to use, but it's also really neat. But yeah, so I'm going to go with this cool Belmont guy, because I feel like he's supposed to be a Castlevania nod, and that's kind of cool. Uh, and then we'll do random for the opponent. There's a few different stages, which just kind of, like, change the background. There's not a lot of difference, but it's still neat. And then, yeah, it looks like Tetris Attack or, you know, those similar kind of things where you can swap out blocks. But, oh crap, I am going to lose. But you can also, like, whenever you create a combo, it doesn't automatically use it. Uh, you have to actually send the attack over to the enemy as... Like an actual attack. Uh, and the goal is to move the line uh, over to the point of the goal, if that makes sense. So you just have to send so many attacks over that it pushes that line. And honestly, it's kind of tricky. Um, I have a hard time actually creating... Oh, crap. Ah. Grief. Uh, yeah, you have to hit them enough times that it kind of pushes the bar over. Um, and you have your height meter. I am in danger zone. Um, I actually have a hard time, like, making combos. I try to just find the things you can attack with offhand. Whoops. So, yeah. That's kind of a general idea. It's, it's honestly kind of hard to play this and talk about it at the same time. Um, I probably should have done some post-commentary, but it's fine. Um, so there's a few different modes. There's no, like, campaign mode or anything yet, but this game is still in development. Uh, but I'll do Endless just to kind of get a better idea of, like, how this game works in a, you know, longer-paced way. Uh, let's switch it up. Let's do... Let's do Momoko, because I kind of like the uh, the ability to move faster. Maybe I can get more stuff done at endless mode. So yeah, this is basically like you keep going. Um, and you're kind of going against a, a nothing, I guess. Like, I'm not really sure what's actually going after me. Uh, but you can block the enemy blocks by shooting at them. Which is really cool. There's a lot of, like, dense mechanics in this that make it actually feel like a fighting game. Um. Yeah. Oh god, oh god. Dang it. Okay. How am I losing? I don't understand. Um. Oh, because they're doing, like, crazy combos. That's how. Wow, alright. That was brutal. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Uh, yeah, I need to do better at combos. This is kind of a high-level game, and I'm too focused on doing attacks to actually pay attention to the combos I'm making. Because it also, it does help to actually, like, do the, like, block their attacks. Uh, because if you notice, it makes my my blocks go away, which sucks. Uh, let's see here. Of 
crap. Danger! Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! Uh... I'm not good at this. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually the game that made me want to get this, uh, this bundle. There's a lot of really cool stuff in there, but most of the, like, coolest games I didn't know about until I already got the collection. Um... Can't do that. I'm just gonna stay on endless. That's fine. Um, so yeah, like this is the one that like I could understand. Like I was like, oh man, this is like basically Tetris Attack. I love that game. And like anyone that knows me knows that I'm a sucker for these kind of uh, block switch type games. Um, so I figured I had to do it just to understand this game because it's easily worth five dollars on its own. And then, when I found all the other awesome games, it was just a win-win. The only thing that kind of sucks is, like, you can't combo blocks together. It's just the one... just the one color gets comboed. And I kind of wish that wasn't the case. Because, like, when you set something up, you want to... crap! You want to be able to, like, push the whole thing, but you're only pushing the one color, so you have to, like hit attack on each color and it really slows things down but that's a minor nitpick um i'm not going to show any more of this one because it's tough but i do really like it um it's a super cool game but let's move on to the next one love that synth tune. Alright, so this one's kind of weird. Uh, I'm just going to continue the story because it starts kind of slow. Uh, but the story of the game essentially takes place through this, like, old-style Fallout-type computer console. Uh, so you kind of, you know, you get an idea of what's going on through, like, people's emails. Uh, because you're essentially a computer, like, hacking into the system. Um... And then... After kind of that intro into the game, or into the level, it goes into the main interface. Uh, and this works kind of like a lot of hacking games in various, uh, in various, like, other games. Uh, also, you are, like, playing the computer, basically, like that moving, uh, iPod-looking thing there that the, uh, the box is on. It's... I guess talking right now. I don't know how else to say it. Um, it's thinking? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. You go around through the different... Uh, Alright, I gotta do some more story first. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Exposition, exposition. Come on. Alright, sometimes there's people you can interact with, that's basically all that says. Okay, so yeah. You can go between the different uh, screens, and for some reason this computer really like, likes rats. I guess that's the the theme of Bitrat. I don't know. I'm sure it has something to do later. Uh, in like a weird, like, you know, GLaDOS portal type way. But it is kind of funny to like, see him ponder the wonder of rats and how they get around. Uh, there's like, there's some allegory there of like, I am but a computer, you know, stuck in my, uh, in my restraints and yet you are a rat and can make it everywhere that you need to go. Like, it's, it, there's some fun stuff there, but, so yeah, you go through the game, uh, and you can toggle the direction of your, uh, data flow to connect... And then there's different things you can interact with in each panel. So like this generator panel has a, a load max. So it basically means you can only have five active screens at a time, which the active ones are the lighter green ones. And this screen has a person in it, which you can actually like hack into them. Because apparently in this world, all of the people have biochips installed in them. Um, there's like an email that kind of talks about that. 
Uh, so yeah, you can hack into the person, which is kind of great if you think about it. Um, and then interact with things in the node. So like the person just turned the power on in this node. And it can also move from, uh, from node to node. Okay, I guess I can't right now. Yeah. Yeah, so we can move around. Incredibly unpleasant. Nice. And because it's max load, I can't actually power up this uh, node. I, I'm kind of tired of saying node, but oh well, whatever. It's fine. Okay, so that's where the strategy comes in. Um, release that guy. This is a chatty computer. Okay. So yeah, now I have to figure out how to route power, power, powder, <laughs> route cocaine, route power to the power node and then turn it on. So we're gonna switch that one. And then I think Let's hold on. No, uh, yeah. Okay, that's right. Do that, and then that. Uh, that doesn't work. Oh, right. Um, okay, there we go. So yeah, now I can take control of him again. Turn this one off. Turn this one on. Switch that up. Uh, turn it back off. Come over here. See, it's, it's kind of complicated, but like, it's a really cool puzzle game. The last one was kind of like a puzzle fighter. This is like a, like a puzzle hacking game. It's really neat. I like it. Uh, all right. So I actually did this one so that I wouldn't be here for like hours trying to remember how to do it. Um, so I have a general idea, but I got to remember exactly what to do. Uh, mail server. Executive order. Oh yeah, this, okay. Old ID badges will no longer be valid. Uh, subcutaneous biometric devices will be used exclusively going forward. So yeah, basically everyone had these like uh, chips implanted in them to get access into the building and stuff. Which is creepy. <laughs> uh, all right. And then I think it goes like that. Uh, crap, I forgot. That, I believe? No, that doesn't make sense. Like that, and then that, there we go, okay. There, got it, okay. It's tricky when you can only have so many, like, this is the first one that uh, limited the amount of nodes I can have open, which is tough. All right, take control. Turn that off, turn that on, and we out. And then there's a satisfying, like, charge. Just pew. Bullet train to the internet. Oh my, what is this? Uh, I can't read this. Alright. So this one's all new to me. Um, I'm gonna check it out. I probably won't complete it right now. Because it would take forever. But I just want to see what new mechanics there are. 
uh, the net winds and even ever more elaborate coils. Here, every process is critical. All my newfound skills are required to survive. The trail of the creators is growing stronger. With their guidance, I will grasp my full potential. He's so poetic. I'm kind of into it. Okay, so we've got that. The grid is a system of ebb and flow. When supplying power to multiple nodes, a conduit link to the generator must be maintained. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Severing one node's connection to the source. Smart. Okay. Will affect all nodes that rely on it for power. Careful observation is key to preserving the series. Yeah. That is tricky. All right. Huh. Whoops. Uh. Oh, gotcha. Um, one tricky thing is you always have to have power to a node before you can uh, move it around, which I struggle with every single time. I don't know why, but I can't. I can't handle it. Uh, I gotcha. Okay. Whoops. More of you. Fraught. Captive. It cannot be by accident. Who would treat another living thing this way? <laughs> I really love how he relates to mice. I don't know. It's, it's funny to me. Okay. So yeah, that one's got... Oh, crap. It's off. All right. Uh, can I... Why can't I take control of you? So, I'll turn that one off, and that one off. Yeah, because then, okay, I can connect it from up here. Turn that one on. It was active a few hours ago. Uh, Mainframe architecture developed by... Oh, I don't care about any of this. Yeah, no, that's boring. All right. These names, blah, 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 they stir the core of my being, my memories. I understand now. I am Minos. <laughs> cool. I like that he's having a, like a come to conscious moment. Okay. Right. Okay. I keep forgetting, like, the little details about this. Uh, can I just come over here, then, and activate that? I can. Oh, but I can't move it. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay, I got this. That's fine. That makes sense. Boom. What up? I got it. Uh... All right, if the creators knew me, knew my name, why did they leave me searching alone? Don't they understand the pain of disconnection? In all things, their motivation remain obscure. All right, and with that satisfying shot off into the ether, I'm gonna call this one. Make sure I haven't noticed any network issues. I'm having a really hard time reading your message. Maybe we should talk face to face. The employee directory says you're in operations. That's only 25 floors down. Besides, I love jogging the stairs. I hear it's great for circulation. See you soon. All right, yeah. Until next time, everyone. Have fun, play some indie games, and please check out this bundle if it's still available when you're watching this. It's a very good deal, I promise. You won't regret it. <laughs>